Hey guys, I'm making this video here because today somebody tried to break in into the Lisa Marie. Uh, this is very obvious. This is the side door to the Lisa Marie here and basically somebody tried to break in uh, to my rig. I don't know where it happened that exactly, but two of my locks, cinder, cylinder locks, uh, key locks on the doors are damaged. This is the side door right here, as you guys can see on the Lisa. And as you can see, somebody pulled this out here. They tried to break it and get in. Hopefully that camera will focus to show you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, we got some news here. I forgot to put this in the show this morning, so I might as well put it in the letters, get a little uh, traction out of it. Somebody tried to break into Lisa, Lisa Marie, which is uh, Elvis Travel's uh, RV there, or they, whatever that is. It's an RV, right? Uh, while he, I don't know if that was while he was gone, doing the trucking stuff or whatever, but uh, he both of the uh, locks are damaged and the keys don't work. But uh, somebody tried to get in there. I guess there's stuff worth stealing inside. So anyway, we had a lot of drama in our show this morning. You know, uh, the RV Rebel Girl had her battery stolen, and Burger Planet took a tumble. And now this, I forgot to put it in the show this morning. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Holy cow. Oh, am I on? Am I on? Am I on? Oh, good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Kim O'Dave. Uh, letters, letters, letters for the... Uh, 19th of December. I'm surprised you missed it, Dave, where Caravan Carolyn says she's burning her bra at the campfire, writes Bubba Fragman. I, I never thought she was like a women's liber, but maybe she is. Trey's Universe, Dave. Uh, we were full-time RVers. Uh, we could we could live extremely comfortably on in our fifth wheel at for fifteen hundred to twenty two hundred a month. We never had to search for water. We stayed in weather as low as minus fifteen Fahrenheit, and we were warm. We didn't poop in a bucket. We have a flush toilet and had warm showers wherever we want whenever we wanted it. We had a full kitchen. We traveled be uh, between five hundred to a thousand miles a month and stayed in beautiful places most of the time. Uh, the full-time lifestyle can be comfortable as living in a condo. Only those who try to live the full-time RV lifestyle on a micro-budget have all this drama and hardship. I guess it's always like, how cheap can we go, you know? Or, you know, how can we do this and have fun with it and still do it cheaply? Yeah, if you can spend a lot of money and get, you know, you can get a luxury RV like uh, Pippi Peterson. I mean, that's like staying in a first-class hotel room, you know? Uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's as much money as you want to spend uh, equates comfort, you know? And it is interesting to see people who do it relatively cheaply and still enjoy it, you know? It depends, I think, too, on the weather and the location and, you know, that kind of thing. You know, winter is a lot more harder than summer. Uh, Bubba Warbucks missed my little uh, impromptu stream this morning. Sorry I missed it. I was uh, running the trash up to the dumpster when the notification came through. Well, you know, Bubba, Bubba Warbucks is out there in uh, Arizona staying right in the next lot uh, from where uh, Caravan Carolyn is. And I don't know, was that your trash, Bubba, or was that hers? Were you being a nice guy? Were you being a service geezer to her? <laughs> can I can I run your trash down to the dumpster, Carolyn? Okay, I was asking some folks, what should I give away for my 7,000 subscriber special? Once I hit 7,000 subscribers, I will do a drawing, okay, and pick somebody uh, to win a, a special prize. Uh, D-Dub uh, writes that I should give away some camo underwear and socks wrapped in bubble wrap. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I made a decision. Uh, the box has been opened, but it's new in the box. It is a beautiful... Uh, it's a beautiful uh, portable wireless speaker shaped it like looks like a microphone, but it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's really nice. Um, let me get it out here. I found this in uh, my storage locker. I forgot I even had it. It plugs in in the back, and it's a speaker. It's Bluetooth. It, it stores you know storage. You know, it's got a battery in it. I think. Anyway, it's really nice. Never been used, but it's a it's a stereo speaker. And um, this is what I'm. This is the prize for the 7,000 subscribers. So here's what you got to do. If you want to be in the drawing, uh, send me an email, camodavidgmx.com, camodavidgmx.com, and just put 7,000 subs or 7K contest or something in the subject line. And then a couple days after I hit the 7,000 mark, I will pick somebody at random, and you will win this beautiful Bluetooth speaker that's never been used.
Okay, that's what's going on. Boondocker writes, that was a friend of mine that drove into the wash with his RV. I knew Caravan Carolyn needed real content, needed content real bad, so I paid my buddy to drive into the wash when CC was, was walking around with a shovel and TP looking for the right spot. I knew CC would use the RV being in the wash for content, but my friend said she did not offer to push him out. <laughs> But wanted to know if she would, if she could use his shower. I think you're joking, Boondocker, right? I think you're joking. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, honky tonk. I didn't know that RV Rebel Girl is a retired cop. Must have been a mall cop. Come on, RV Rebel Girl, stand up for yourself. Tell us what kind of a cop you were. Okay? She was a cop, cop, right? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> going slightly mad. Dave, are you begging for subscribers? LOL. Yes! Yes! <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, the number of subs doesn't matter. Again, there are a lot of people that have a lot more subs than I do that get, you know, fewer views than I do. So subs don't matter, but it's just, it's like a size thing. I'm a, you know, I'm 10 inch, I'm 12 inches, I'm 7K, you know? And finally, Rosecat writes, It is weird that I have never watched any of these RV Nomad people and have no idea who 98% of these people are. But I still watch every day now. You have an enjoyable voice. Yeah, most people don't say that. Most people say I have a very annoying voice. It's nice that somebody likes my voice. <laughs> and I have a nice manner of speaking, and I like the puppet. Aw, somebody actually likes Crotchy. Thank you! Thank you! It's nice to be appreciated. All right. All right, folks, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. 19th of December. Don't forget, bottom of YouTube awards, uh, September, September, uh, December 22nd, Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, Life with Aaron channel, okay? I'll put the link to his channel in the description down there somewhere, and uh, go subscribe to him, and then you can watch that, okay? And then we'll have, a, uh, we'll have a bunch of chats all day Saturday to talk about it. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Vlog under.